We get to the top and suddenly there's this huge drop. Like I saw her disappear and then suddenly I'm, I'm flying in the air. I'm Rosebud Baker and I almost died racing golf carts on Thanksgiving. A little context, I come from a long line of alcoholics. My family loves to drink, okay? Some people are raised Catholic, I was raised alcoholic. It's similar, what we do is like mostly communion. Unfortunately, when you're raised alcoholic, you get really good at it at an early age. Sometimes you're forced into early retirement. I had to quit drinking and so did one of my sisters like five years after I did. It was her first Thanksgiving at my family's house sober. Having been through that experience myself, I know that you feel a little raw, you don't like seeing people drinking around you. And that's like how my family bonds. I kind of took her under my wing. It's cool, everyone else will get hammered. You and I will have fun. We went to my dad's summer home. I come from money. We're in Maryland, it's like a private community. There's like a golf course. You know, everybody's got clean sheets and a nice china. My dad was drunk, my stepmom was drunk. Meredith, which is the most stepmom name ever. And everybody's starting to get a little boozed up. Things are getting a little rowdy. And my sister and I kind of like turn to look at each other. Let's fucking beat it. We decide, let's go for a walk. We came across all these golf carts. My sister turns to me and she's like, huh? And I was like, cool. We got these two golf carts and we just started driving them. We were raging, all right? It was late at night. Nobody's on the golf course. We're like tearing around. We're doing donuts. We're racing. We're having a blast. The more fun we start to have, the more reckless we become. There was this huge hill on the golf course and we're both like racing each other over this major hill. We get to the top and suddenly there's this huge drop. Like I saw her disappear over the top of the hill and then suddenly I feel it. I'm, I'm flying in the air. And we land in a river, in these golf carts that we don't own on Thanksgiving. We're freaking out. I didn't know if my sister was okay. I didn't know if I was okay. I was like, is this thing gonna blow up? I don't know how golf carts work. My sister, who's younger than me, was terrified. She's a Scorpio, she's very intense. I jump out of the golf cart, go through the water, I'm like, she's actually on land, she's just abandoned her vehicle. She was like, I've crashed three golf carts this year. These are the fourth and fifth ones. So, uh, it was a good thing she quit drinking. My sister's really fun, by the way. She's like my favorite person. Why would you tell me to get in the golf carts? She's like, I was sober. I figured it would be fine. I'll take, I'll take the blame for this. We'll be fine. She's like, no, they're gonna know it's me. The fear in her eyes was so intense. I don't think I can bring myself to tell them about this. And then I was like, I have to protect the youngest of the clan. We had to think fast and we're both sober, so we're capable of bright ideas. I was like, oh, Meredith has an SUV. I can use Meredith's SUV and we tow the golf carts out of the river. That seemed fine. That seemed like a viable solution. We go into the house, we sneak in the door. We're like as quiet as possible. There's like water in our shoes. No one even knows that we've come in. We grab the keys off the dresser. We drive the SUV down to the golf course. We realize you can't tow a golf cart. It's like a toy car. There's nothing to hook it on. To. But there were a pair of jumper cables and we tied those to the frame of the golf cart. And I lean out the window in the back of the car and hold on to these jumper cables because we, we couldn't tie the electric. There was water. So we were like, well, let's, um, I'll just hold on to these. I can totally lift a golf cart. I mean, look at these fucking things. Are you kidding me? I'm jacked. I don't know who I thought I was. I truly had like a God complex. I was like, I will save my sister. I will lift a golf cart and I'll save Thanksgiving. I tell my sister to get in the driver's seat. All you have to do is put the car in a drive and fucking drive it out. I'm like braced in the back, ready to like use all my strength. I have like no center of gravity whatsoever. I was like, if I roll the window up enough, then it can't pull me out. I can't believe I was sober. I hear the car start, so far so good. I hear the engine rev, she accelerates, and the car goes fucking backwards, okay? The car goes into the golf cart, which goes into the other golf cart. I felt my rib cage slam into the window, and the next thing I knew, there was a golf cart like underneath me. We've crashed three vehicles sober on a family holiday. At this point, I'm like laughing. Why aren't we dead? We deserve to be dead. This is a story that I don't want to have lived through. My sister jumps out of the car. She just starts running in circles and screaming like a squirrel that's been run over. It was like she was on fire. I'm like, well, this could not have gone worse. That was our best thinking that got us there. I look at her and I just talked her down. We have to tell dad. I almost wanted to like cover my father in a foil blanket before I told him the story. He looks at me, he goes, 
because he knows that the two of us, I mean, we obviously had to get sober for a reason. We don't have the cleanest record. We crashed the golf carts. And he was like, again? How many of these golf carts are you guys gonna crash? We also crashed Meredith's SUV. I could feel his disappointment, but it was like a ghost. It just wrapped around the room. So I'm waiting out on the golf course all night. My dad comes out in the morning as the tow truck is arriving. Tow truck driver looks at my dad and he says, your kids did this? My dad was like, yeah. And the tow truck driver puts his hand on my dad's shoulder and goes, hey man, that's all right. My kids are stupid too.